Now, stop me if you have heard this one before. Once upon a while ago, there was a fisherman's puppet, carefully made by hand. The puppet lived a simple life inside the mother lighthouse, with everything in its place. And every day began the same way when he brushed his wooden teeth. The toothbrush was in its usual place, beside the basin. Well, if you don't think wooden teeth need brushing, you've never had a cavity and a splinter at the same time. <laughs> Next, he put a log inside his little stove to warm things up. would get cold in here. The puppet will put a log inside his little stove. Nice and warm, safe from the storm. Next he would take his duster and carefully dust his lucky seashell over there on the shelf. What ne- There! <coughs> the shell reminded him of the sea when it was calm. Next, the fisherman would open wide his window to check the weather. A quiet sea tonight. <sighs> Finally, and most important, every day he would work on his latest model. There, in the center of the room, a perfect model of his own little lighthouse, exact in every detail. It was nearly finished too. Only two pieces needed to be added to the replica. The little model cabinet and the final section of the wall. The model should be a good. Now, the final touch. A tiny puppet of himself to put inside. There, lucky this model's tired out from his routine. The fisherman will rest his aching wooden bones in his own rocking chair and go to sleep. And dream of models. Safe inside, where the smell of paint and glue was always fresh, where the world was simple and snapped together, the puppet would follow his routine, brush his wooden teeth, dust his lucky shell, and work on his model. Within wells, walls within walls, closing out the storm so it could never reach inside. Until one night, something changed. waiting out there somewhere but hold your hauling lines. Reports are saying a huge storm is blowing in. It might be nothing but better safe than salvage, I always say. Coming up next, another hour of thrilling nautical news after these messages.
Every morning, the fisherman's puppet walk inside his model lighthouse with everything in its place. And he began his day the same way. Except this morning, something felt different. Mon Dieu, the window had been boarded up. The fisherman didn't remember doing that. Even when the storm came, he was safe in here. But no two silly planks of wood were going to get between him and his routine. find something to pry off the boards. Ah, this would do. What was it Papa used to say? Use the right tool for the right job. Nearly there. What was this feeling? The fisherman hadn't felt like this for a long time. At last, the smell of the ocean. But outside, not the sea. He couldn't believe his wooden eyes. Outside the room was another room. A replica room. And standing in it, a huge but very familiar figure of a fisherman. And he knew that if that huge figure were to turn, its face would be very familiar. Sacre bleu! If this was what lay outside, then what was inside his own little model lighthouse, in the model of his own room? It was all there inside the model, exact in every detail, but the tiny version of himself, it was moving. He was inside the model, he was outside the model, and just, just who was pulling all the strings? to all lighthouses in spite of all of our thrilling up to the minute warnings a lone boat has gone out into the storm lighthouse keepers make sure your lights are shining bright i repeat a lone boat has gone out into the storm the lighthouse the world might be folding in on itself but only one thing mattered now he had to turn on the lighthouse lamp high above the life of a fellow sailor was at stake a huge anchor blocked the only door. Whoever did it must really want to keep the storm out or keep something in. Of course! As below, so above. When he lifted the tiny anchor, the large one was lifted by his giant self. Zut! The door was locked. He must have put the key somewhere last time he left this room. Now, when was that? And then, my friends, the strangest thing happened. Inside this room where he knew every cranny and nook, an unfamiliar voice said, Hey! Hey, you! Yes, you, the scruffy-looking puppet! Yeah, you with the strings! Over here! On the shelf! Are you cracked in the cockle? Why did you move the anchor? Why? Oh, why did you take the roof off? The fisherman. He felt, uh, well, his lucky shell had just started talking to him. And very rudely too. So he did not feel so great. You test me every day and you thought I just had nothing to say? I'm an hermit cop, Sonny. And you might not appreciate a nice quiet hiding spot, but I do. Now, shh. And what are we hiding from? I'm hiding from the storm. Why do you think I stole the key? The key? The, the key? Where is it? Oh, fiddler crab sticks. The fisherman took a deep breath. 
Oh, Hermit Crab, craftiest of all crustaceans, I must get to the top of the lighthouse. Those sailors out there may be looking for us. We must be brave. Brave? Brave? If you can find me my hat, I will be the captain, of course. And the captain needs his hat and a life preserver, just in case. Then, uh, adjust this one. We will be brave. Well, of course, courageous Captain Crab, said the fisherman. Your hat and a life preserver. Now, where would an everyday wooden puppet find a tiny life preserver and a hat fit for a crab? Good. Now, put it on me carefully. Perhaps a smaller hat. One that can be worn at a jaunty angle. How does it look? Does it look uh, dashing? Oh, it does. Doesn't it? Now, fetch your captain his life preserver. Allez, allez. Allez. No good. C'est pas ça. Move until I'm less. Uh, I'm scared. This scruffy looking puppet wants us all dead, it seems. There! <laughs> now, put it around my shell. So, you found everything? Well, if a little wooden puppet like you can do this, then uh, I will be uh, brave. <whistles> now, just let me get out of this. Damn! Shell! Ah. <coughs> Breezy! I feel so much lighter. And the world feels so much bigger. I don't think I can go back into my shell after this. Alright, let's do this! I'll help you open the door, so you can save your fellow silly old sailor. And I... As captain, shall courageously remain here, on guard. Now, let's see. Where did I leave the key? I was holding the key while I was repairing my shell. Then I had a sudden itch, and then... Blast it. I don't remember. Key, mon ami. Forget your poor sailor. You'll never be able to save him. That will do. All right. Are you ready? Me too, I think. what you did for me. Your captain salutes you. He would need to find his way up the tower in the darkness, and already he could hear the storm rising outside. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
the biggest fish Papa ever caught. The fisherman had spent all his life trying to learn to catch as big as that. Well, don't you look like a tall drink of <coughs> water? It was still alive. This went against everything he had learned. He had to get the fish some water. Jam buckets, no water in the tap. at work. Too much success. Water flooded into the model. Quick, hold your breath. The water closed over him, and the memories came flooding back. The coolness, the darkness, the ocean tossing and turning him like a like a rag doll. But wait a minute, puppets can't drown. No. A bit of water wouldn't stop this fisherman. Oh, water, water everywhere. But is there anything to it? 
I'm hungry. Hungry. <laughs> hmm. It seemed Papa had forgotten food. to feed his stuffed Is fish. There food out here? There must be food. Food. <laughs> Who are you, oh noble fish? And do you know how to reach the top of the lighthouse? The fisherman asked. I'm a big eye. Una. My eyes are even bigger than my stomach. And if you want to go upstairs, my little Amis Bush, well, you'll have to feed me first. Mm. There must be food out here. Nothing? I'll starve. Any second now, I shall succumb to hunger. If only you find me some food. That smelled mm, vintage, but a stuffed fish could hardly be picky. Bon appétit, you greedy guppy. <laughs> good, good, but I need more, bigger. These are just appetizers. I want the main course. own appetite and also a fish bone oh. Inside the mouse. The fisherman was afraid. How many of this fish's family had he pulled from the sea in search of the biggest catch? But how do I know you won't eat me? The fisherman asked. Oh, oceans and her. Also, I mean, you're made of wood and probably lead based bent. The fish had let its greed get the better of it, and now it was paying the price. But the fisherman knew what that felt like. He had to help. Now, there was the bone of contention. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, fisherman. I, I could not get it off, you know. I wanted more, always. Like an obsession. But you, leggy land walkers, we don't know anything about that. Of course, you have everything, don't you? Well, what could the puppet say to that? Now, I must repay you. The key to the tower door is outside. I saw a huge figure hide it near the mirror a long time ago. Outside? I'm certain it was around here. Climb on in.
Welcome aboard Fish Flight 123. Please keep your arms inside the mouse at all times and no splinters, please. Hmm. Hold your seat, sir. There was plenty of legroom, but the view left something to be desired. And there was a distinct smell of. Oh, yes, sardines. Step. <sighs> the key was too high. It needed something. Uh, perhaps back in the lighthouse, there might be something he could use. This was much too big to be moved. He had to... At last, time to get back to the lighthouse. Thank you for helping me, the fisherman said. Of course. You help me see that there is more to life than the largest mouse wool. Sometimes a smaller morsel is sweeter, juicier and more delectable. One sauce, little morsel. Thank you for setting me free. I hope you reach the top of the tower. The door opened. The lighthouse tower waited. The fisherman had begun to think that he had all the answers, but he would soon realize he had bitten off maybe more than he could chew. Come in, trawler. Come in, trawler. If you can hear us, return to port immediately. I repeat, return to port immediately. Papa's old study. This was where the fisherman had learned to make models. Sitting at Papa's knee, listening to Papa's gruff, scratchy voice telling him to try again, try again, and next time get it right. The fisherman was nearly there, but something in this room seemed different, like he was being watched. And I'm not impressed. Papa? The painting. The old painting of his father. The, the great fisherman. It was talking. Quiet. I'm talking. My only child. My flesh and blood. You could have been as great a sailor as me. Or my father before me. Ah, Papa. That you had lived to see this day. Papa, said the puppet, I must light the lighthouse lamp. A ship is in peril. My own son, a mere lamp lighter, a landlubber. Nonsense. All you need is a boat and a strong net. Show your true sea dog and sail out there. is missing. The cabin, the deck, the rear winch, and two halves of the hull. Did I ever tell you about the time I caught? Maybe you're good for something. Keep going!
you won't get far with Alpha Boat. Where is the next part? Your mother would be sad to see this day. Not me, of course. I was always a very supportive parent. Nearly there. Who am I kidding? You never finish anything. The door upstairs was rusted shut. Besides, Papa had given him an order, and a true sailor always obeys the skipper. Did I ever tell you about the time I caught a fish as big as you? Bigger, in fact. Much bigger! controls of the old lighthouse crane were there on the balcony. The huge half-flooded room surrounded him, and below, he could see the tiny replica of the room.
Son, a lighthouse keeper. <laughs> the door upstairs was rusted shut. Besides, Papa had given him an order, and a true sailor always obeys the skipper. waiting for all aboard now duck it at the pontoon then we'll see who's too big for his father's boat Wait. Oh, that tiny boat was going to get lost out there. He needed to change its size. 
What are you doing, you dimwit? Oh, that tiny boat was going to get lost out there. He needed to change its size. in harbor is safe, but it belongs in the water. Lower it on the crane. There. Allez, en avant tout. Stuff. East by Northeast, full steam. Look at you. You look almost like a real sailor. If I squint. Thanks, Papa. Morning, fish man. Fishing season has begun, and stocks are looking thin again this year. We all know there's a big catch waiting out there somewhere, but. Hold your hauling lines. Reports are saying a huge storm is blowing in. <laughs> the storm approaches. That's when the fish come easily, my son. Coming up next, another hour of thrilling nautical news after these messages. The fish are waiting. Activate the winch. Drop the nets. Storm! This is where nature hides its beauties! They are waiting for us! <laughs> Forget, boy! Come back with a hold full of fish, or don't come back at all! Son, hold on. <coughs> we have got guts, boy. I will give you that. Go then, if you must. Climb the tower, light the lamp, save any other poor souls who are sailing out there. They're even on by their disappointed fathers. I only wanted you to be greater than me. But I didn't. Au revoir, Papa. Then, the 
fisherman thought of all the countless fish he had hauled from the ocean on a line just like this one, just like his father before him. But there was one difference. Those poor fishes were dragged out of their dark, safe world and into the blinding light by force. But no one was pulling this fisherman's strings. As he climbed the hook, he thought of all the models he had built, all the days he had spent inside the lighthouse, hiding from his fear. I don't his know queen. what you've been hiding from, you but I've been hiding from the storm! I you want, don't you? And his obsession, that shadow which had seemed so large once upon a time, the greatest catch ever is out there, please. It's just waiting for us. Here we go. At last, time to turn on the light. Outside, the storm raged. And it seems the rules of the replica had been completely disrupted. Inside the lighthouse, little versions of the puppet were reflected back at him, getting even smaller. And there was only one match left to turn on the lighthouse. Was there anybody out there in the storm? Who knows? But for now, at least, he had one job. He was a lighthouse keeper. Now, if he could only find the match... The matchbox was empty. Shoot, there had to be a match around there. He had to light all the lamps, big and small, and there was only one match left to turn on the lighthouse. something to strike it on. He was going to have to light each lamp in turn. Now he needed a matchbox.
tree lamps were lit, but there was nowhere near enough light. Perhaps his little friends inside the model could help out. inside the model. How could he light them? There was a little version of himself inside the model. Perhaps he could help. inside the model. How could he light them? level down. version of himself. Et voilà. Let there be light. Farewell, mon fils. I can rest now, knowing my obsession did not drag you down with me. 
Goodbye, little morsel. Bon voyage, shipmate. in the ceiling to move the light and look around. But where was he? Mon Dieu, was that... that beard, that face? He, he was awake. Hey! Hey, the puppet cried. I'm in here. I've been in here all this time. I'm in here. Is it? <coughs> what a mess. Do you know, I think I've been in here long enough. I think I need to see the sea. Another storm. Fisherman, enough mending your nets, time to earn your keep. And to all you lighthouse keepers out there, I think you deserve a holiday. How long has it been? <laughs> well, no matter. Encore the way. <laughs> <laughs> 